many of you have the A10 Mini Pro and you've been contemplating on whether to spend the extra money to upgrade to the A10 Mini Extreme just to get an additional HDMI output. Guess what? You don't have to do that. I'm gonna save you some money, show you how you can get your multi-view and program output from the A10 Mini Pro introducing something like the A10 Streaming Bridge. Let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on party people and thanks for watching. My name is Walter Jeanette, founder and creative director of Create to Inspire and Solve. And on this channel, you can expect to find inspiration and solutions that are gonna help you build your brand, grow your business, and help you create a community around the things that you're most passionate about. So if this is your first time watching, thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified every single time that I post new content to the channel. But let's get into today's topic. Topic. All right, now what you're looking at right now is uh, the ATEM Mini Pro. I have the ATEM Streaming Bridge, and I also have a uh, little five inch monitor, uh, the Feel World Master MA5, okay? And so just to give you a quick rundown of how this is actually set up, I have the uh, USB-C uh, from the ATEM Mini Pro going into my MacBook Pro over here, 16 inch, I'll show you that in a second. I have the uh, the HDMI out, which is also controlling my multi-view going over into the MacBook Pro as well. And then I have the Ethernet, which we're basically using as the third output on the ATEM Mini Pro going into the ATEM streaming bridge. And what's happening is the streaming bridge is converting that Ethernet and allowing me to basically stream locally, give me another HDMI out, give me my program out. And that's what you see actually going on right now into the field world um, master M8. Five. So I'm going to show you real quick as far as what 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 I have going on over here on the MacBook Pro. I didn't want to put it all in one system, but I'm just running NDI back and forth. Um, so I'm going to switch over there and show you exactly how all of this is working. And then I'm going to take you through the steps to how you can actually set this up. All right. All right. So right now you're looking at me in the normal A10 Mini Pro USB-C webcam output, all right? So you're, you're just looking at me, this is what it's normally gonna look like, okay? All right, now I'm gonna switch over to the multi-view, all right? So you can see that there. So now I'm actually showing you the multi-view so we know that that's working. So we have the USB-C out that's working, all right? And then we have the HDMI out, which is set to multi-view. You can see that's working. One of the things I want you to notice though, is that the on air for the streaming bridge down here, that is currently showing on air. That is what's going out to the mix. I keep wanting to say mix master, but it's going to the field world master MA5 monitor. So if I switch back over um, to the overhead view, you can actually get a look and see what's going on there. So you see right now, that's so we have, so you see this is happening at the same time. I have the preview that is going out and then I have a program out that is happening. What happens is if I turn this on air button off, you're going to see this program out disappear. And that's basically what we're gonna talk about today as far as actually showing you how to set this up. Because once you set it up, I don't have to go back into settings again and do it. I can just press the on air button and there my program output actually comes back. So I'm real excited about that because again, this saves you a tremendous amount of money from having to upgrade from the A10 Mini Pro, which is still a great device to go up to the A10 Mini Extreme. Just, you know, for those of you who don't need the eight inputs, just for you to be able to get multi-view and program out. So let's walk through the ATEM software, the control software to show you exactly how you set this up. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have everything connected to the computer that you're going to be utilizing. So you wanna make sure you have both the ATEM Mini Pro and the ATEM Streaming Bridge connected to the computer. Both of those things use USB-C. And you wanna open up the ATEM Setup software. So there are two different softwares. You have ATEM 
control and then you have a tim setup you want to make sure that you have a tim setup which is what you're looking at right now all right and so when you have them both connected it may default to the a tim mini pro but if you click the arrow you want to make sure it goes to the streaming bridge because we first want to set up the streaming bridge okay so choose the a tim streaming bridge and the a tim um software setup and then you want to click here on the settings all right we want to click here on the settings all right so you don't have to change any of this unless you want to change any of it but what we want to do is go down to where it says stream service and you want to make sure that you select local network without key all right so you want to make sure uh, that you click local network without key and then you want to make sure um, that you hit save i say go ahead and save now so it's going to close it out what you want to do is open that back up and then you will see up here there's an external atem mini pro you want to make sure that you click on that that's going to bring up some more settings so here you can name the platform whatever you want to name it i keep it very simple i just name it um atem streaming bridge and i don't change uh the server information you know so so name the platform whatever you want to name it but um I, I don't i don't change the server information and i make sure i change my streaming quality um to high you can put it on hyperdeck high which is the highest thing that they have um for me if i'm because i'm using this sometimes record i will do hyperdeck high but streaming high is definitely a good place to start um and you can kind of play with that to see what's going to work best for you and then you want to go to save a tim settings you want to make sure that you click save all right what's going to happen is that's going to create a xml profile we're going to take this xml xml profile and we're going to need to load that into the a to mini so i've already done this name it whatever you want to name it all right and then you're going to click save all right so after that's done you can get out of the setup control software and you want to go back over here to atem software control all right and what you want to do um, is if you actually look in the toolbar if you look in the toolbar look at the top um you want to make sure you click on stream and then you want to go to where it says load streaming settings all right load streaming settings so then once you click on load streaming settings this is where you're going to load that xml file okay so those of you that understand um the a10 mini pro you know you can save your audio your eq you see i have a couple of those things there specific um to one of the mixers that i use but again you want to load the stream settings from the xml file that you just saved and again you do that by going to stream and then load streaming settings and then you will choose to file and then you will import then you want to go over here to where it says output so probably yours may either be defaulted to palette or it may be defaulted to media player but you want to make sure you click on output and then from output you see where it says platform because remember the a10 mini is a standalone encoder so you technically don't need the computer after setting this up the first time you technically don't need the computer to be able to stream you can go directly to whatever platform facebook twitch youtube twitter periscope restream that you want um but what we're doing is we created the platform atem streaming bridge all right again the server i don't change that quality streaming high and what happens now when I hit the own air button, so I can hit on air either in the software or I can hit on where on air, excuse me, on the A10 mini. And then my program is going to start streaming the program out. And again, I'll show you that one more time in the overhead view right here. You can see we have the program out um, that's actually coming in on that field world master ma5 so again we have the USB C um, output that's going from the a10 mini pro and then we have the multi view um, output that's going <laughs> from the a10 mini pro and then we have an additional program output that the a10 streaming bridge 
created for us so again this is going to save you some money you know what i'm saying this is going to save you some time this is going to save you some headache and i know a lot of people have been trying to figure this out i just wanted to make a video to show you exactly how to get this done Yo, so I hope that you all found some value out of that. Hopefully so much value that it saves you some money or at least give you some additional ideas of how you can bring in the streaming bridge. One of the things I did not mention is that the streaming bridge also gives you two additional SDI outputs. So you may want to run that into one of the uh, black magic distributions or anything. It, it, the possibilities are just endless when you bring in that streaming bridge so again i appreciate you guys watching if you're watching for the first time a special thank you to you feel free to hit that subscribe button and while you're at it go ahead and click that bell so you can be notified every single time i post new content to the channel but until next time i'll catch you guys in the next video